Do you want to make Canvas more interactive and fun for your students? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a digital escape room within Canvas. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today to walk you through the process and also show you an example of how to create and build an escape room within a Canvas module. And if you wait till the very end of this video, I'm going to be giving you a template that you can use to get started. Essentially, there are five main steps that you need to follow to create a digital escape room within a Canvas module. So let's get started with these steps. And then also let me show you the escape room that I built as an example in this video. So the first step in creating an escape room within a Canvas module is to actually come up with a theme or a story that you want to use along the journey. Now, of course, this isn't a requirement, but at the K-12 level, it just makes it a little more fun and engaging for your students. For my Canvas escape module, I created a monster theme. The story that I have created is about monsters that are locked in their classroom and they need to learn how to use Canvas in order to escape escape and the students are going to help them with that process. So you'll see I've created a lot of my images through Canva. So I just have this little introduction page of what the students are going to learn followed by the story. So here is a graphic that I created with Canva and it's really like an engaging start to the escape room. So they'll go through this. You'll see it's not super long. It's pretty short. We have a content page with like things I want them to learn about. But then here is a task that continues the theme of the module. So it's about, you know, their professor Fang has hidden the first clue. So keeping that monster theme going throughout the course. And I'll just kind of skim through and keep going. So you can see this is a clue page, a content page. So the little monster again. So it doesn't have to be super, super detailed. You'll see I only really add one image per page page and just kind of keep the theme of monsters and ghosts and all of that fun stuff continuous throughout the escape room. For step two, to create your module escape room, you have to create two types of elements. The first one being that you want to create the subject or content pages that students can review information that will help them with their challenge or task. So then following up with that, you need to create the challenge or task. Now these can look like like Canvas quizzes, assignments, or discussion boards. It's really up to you how you choose to create those challenges or tasks, or of course, unlocking the next step. So you'll notice within my Canvas module, I have created multiple types. My first one is really basic. It's just a Canvas quiz where students are given questions on how to use Canvas. If they don't get the answer right, they can go back to that content page and review the information. All right, now before I kind of go into the challenges that I've created in those content pages, I just want to show you kind of like a basic overview. So we have like the intro of the escape room up here. We have how to use Canvas. That's the first content page. And then we have the first challenge that relates to that content page. So they are going to be essentially assessed because this is a quiz on the information in the prior content page. And so they'll complete this quiz and then students will get their first clue for the final challenge. And so that pattern is just repeated. So again, content page, challenge, clue, content page, challenge, clue. And I just repeat this over and over again. And you'll notice the first challenge is a quiz. So if I click here and I go to preview the quiz, these are just basic quiz questions. It does not have to be super difficult. For the next challenge, challenge two, they have to review plagiarism and then they just have to respond to a text entry. So we'll go over to student view so we can get an idea of what this looks like. They click start the assignment and they're going to write about plagiarism, what they learned from that content page. So again, does not have to be super complicated. And ultimately what I'm doing in this module is I'm teaching them how to use Canvas features. So that's why each one is a little different with a quiz, text entry assignment. The next challenge, the third challenge is an upload assignment. So here is challenge three. So I'll just click start the assignment and they are to just upload an image here. So again, if you're doing a scavenger hunt and they are required to upload images, this might be a really great option just to repeat the file 
upload submission type. The last task for the fourth challenge is a discussion board. So again, I'm going through all the different types of Canvas elements in here because I'm trying to teach them how to use a quiz, an assignment, and a discussion board. But of course, you can get even more creative if you'd like. Step three is optional, but I think it just adds an extra touch and makes it a little different than just your traditional module in Canvas, and that's gamification in the sense of adding badges or points or a secret hidden code after each challenge that the students collect along the way that they will use at the very end for their final challenge to break out of the escape room. To add my little gamification piece after every single challenge, and I kind of already showed you this earlier, but there is a clue. So you'll see here, congratulations, you completed the first challenge. They click on this accordion that I've entered in here, and this is their first code word. So the final challenge, they'll enter a phrase, and this is the first part of that phrase. And so if I go back to the module, you'll see clue two is identical, excluding the fact that it's a different word. So you can change this up. This just adds like a little reward after every single challenge that I like because then it keeps them motivated to finish. In step four, all we're really doing is that final challenge where they're going to enter in the code that they have been collecting along their journey within the escape room to see if they did everything correct. And so what I did is I just created a quiz with one question and they had multiple fill in the blanks to enter their phrase or code and complete and get that congratulatory message that they completed the module successfully. So the final challenge that unlocks the entire escape room is just a quiz with one quiz question. They've been collecting words to create a phrase, which is like the unlocked code the entire time. So when we go into preview here, you will see they have four boxes for the four different challenges. Break the monsters out, they submit, and then they got it correct. So they get to move on to the complete your module page where now we have this gift that I created again in Canva, congratulating them and telling them everything that they've learned and accomplished. The fifth and final step, which is probably the most important element for creating an escape room is adding requirements. This means in the module, you have the ability to create the path for students where they can only unlock one step at a time. And without this, there really would not be an option to create the escape room module. Basically, what you're doing is you are locking the module's content until the student completes the prior task, which is great because that's the whole point is they're unlocking their path the entire time. To add the requirements to a module, you're going to go up to the top header of your module that you want to make into an escape room and you're going to select the three dots and then click edit. This window on the side will appear and you're going to scroll down and click requirements, the plus requirements button. So now students need to complete all of the items, they need to move in the required order, so sequential order, so from top to bottom. And now down here, we get to keep adding the requirements. So the first one, they need to view the item. The second page, so what's really nice is as you keep adding, it just kind of adds this, the next element within the module. So we'll just do for this one, they need to view for how to use Canvas they need to view. Now we've met a challenge. So this is a quiz. So instead we need to score at least. So they need to get 100% in order to move on. So they need to score an eight out of eight in order to obtain that clue. So then we'll keep adding the requirements. So we'll just view the item. We have the learning outcomes page again, view the item. Challenge two is that assignment. So I am going to, for the requirement here, submit the assignment. So once they submit Meant they can move on to the next thing. And then finally, for that final challenge, we want them to be able to score at least one point, which would be the correct code. And then that's it. We're going to click save. And now you will see once I'm in student view here, now I have complete all items. These are grayed out because I haven't completed the requirements above yet. So once I click this one, 
and I view this page as a student, you will notice when I go back to the module page, I now have a green check mark so I can move on and now the next thing is open. So this is how you add in the control of, or the locking of each step within the module, which ultimately makes this escape room so much more fun. Canvas requirements ultimately ensure that your students are completing the module in the correct order. They can't skip ahead. They have to stay where they're at and unlock the challenge to move forward. So now you guys have seen how to create an escape room module within Canvas. I showed you my awesome little monster classroom example. We covered planning the theme, creating those content pages and puzzles or tasks or what I called them were challenges, setting up your clues along the way or providing that gamification type reward after each challenge and then the final piece of unlocking the module with a quiz code. And then of course, don't forget to add your prerequisites. Otherwise the escape module doesn't really work. Let me know guys in the comments below if you've ever created an escape room within Canvas. Tell us what worked, what didn't work. I would love to hear how you incorporated this into your classroom. If you are a teacher that is ready to try out escape rooms in your Canvas course, locate my freebie for you in the description below below. I also am going to be selling the monster version that you guys saw. So if you guys want a full escape room, totally done and completed, ready to go, that teaches your students on how to use Canvas, that's also linked below as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!